Hello and welcome to this whiteboard discussion on hepatocellular carcinoma. I'm Dr. Richard Finn, an associate professor in the Department of Medicine, the Division of Hematology Oncology at the Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. And in this whiteboard video, we will dive into tyrosine kinase inhibitors and discuss the myriad ways in which they target this disease. I will begin by providing an overview of how this class of drug operates. Tyrosine kinases are enzymes that are responsible for the activation of many proteins. This activation occurs through a series of molecular events known as signal transduction cascades and results in the addition of a phosphate group to the protein, a process known as phosphorylation. By preventing phosphorylation, tyrosine kinase inhibitors can dysregulate many cellular functions such as growth, transformation, and apoptosis, functions necessary not only for healthy cells, but also those responsible for the pathogenesis of cancer. The fundamental basis for molecular targeted therapy is to target specific kinases that are important in cancer cells. While the exact molecular pathogenesis of hepatocellular carcinoma, or HCC, remains unclear, several lines of investigation have yielded molecular targets for therapeutic intervention. These targets can best be characterized by the roles they play in key molecular processes necessary for angiogenesis, tumor cell proliferation, and survival. These pathways include the epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGF, transforming growth factor alpha, TGF-alpha, the insulin-like growth factor, IGF, hepatocyte growth factor and its receptor, CMET, the vascular endothelial growth factor and its receptor, the VEGF receptor, fibroblast growth factor and its receptors, as well as the platelet-derived growth factor and the intracellular mediator of signal transduction, the mitogen-activated protein kinase, MAP kinase. Also, the PI3 kinase pathway in AKT and mTOR have been shown to play a role in the pathogenesis of liver cancer. For patients with advanced HCC, multi-targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, are the most appropriate first-line treatment option. Serafinib has become the standard of care for the past 10 years for advanced HCC based on the results of the SHARP study. The SHARP study, or Serafinib Hepatocellular Carcinoma Assessment Randomized Protocol Trial, evaluated serafinib versus placebo in the first-line setting of advanced liver cancer. Serafinib inhibits tumor cell proliferation and tumor angiogenesis and increases the rate of apoptosis in a wide range of tumor models. It is a multi-tyrosine kinase inhibitor that acts by inhibiting the serine threonine kinases RAF1 and BRAF as well as the receptor tyrosine kinase activity of the VEGF receptor, and that includes receptors 1, 2, and 3, and the platelet-derived growth factor receptor beta. Recent data from the randomized phase 3 study reflect evaluated lenvantinib versus serafinib in the first-line setting. This study was a positive study demonstrating that lenvantinib was non-inferior to serafinib in the first-line setting of HCC. Lenvantinib, like serafinib, is an oral multi-targeted receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitor that targets the VEGF receptors 1 through 3, as well as the fibroblast growth factor receptors 1 through 4, RET, KIT, and PDGFR. This drug is already approved for thyroid cancer and for the treatment of kidney cancer, and its approval for the treatment of liver cancer is awaited. For patients whose disease progressed while on first-line therapy, the multi-kinase inhibitor regorafenib was approved in April 2017. Regorafenib blocks the VEGF receptors 1 through 3, TIE 2, the RAF family, as well as KIT, RET, PDGFR, and FGFR. The approval of regorafenib was based on the results of the Phase 3 randomized resource trial, which evaluated the efficacy of regorafenib in HCC patients who progressed on serafinib. In addition, there are multiple phase 2 and 3 clinical trials on promising new tyrosine kinase inhibitors in liver cancer. At this ASCO GI 2018, we are hearing results of the study of cabozantinib in second-line setting for advanced liver cancer. The results of this study are eagerly awaited, and a press release suggests that this drug improves survival over placebo. While tyrosine kinase inhibitors have demonstrated positive effects in the treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma, they are not without side effects. We'll now turn our attention to the mitigation of adverse events.